Today I want to talk about the Ethereum Crystals in Modern Warfare Zombies and give you guys a couple easy methods to farm these things up and get a nice built up stash. I think I've noticed some slight changes in drop rates and stuff like that during some updates so I kind of wanted to keep you guys updated. Maybe also just give the newer people or the people that are struggling some tips and tricks on how to get these things. But with that being said, welcome on back to the channel everybody. If y'all don't know, my name is Ghost. I appreciate everybody that stops by the video today. If you guys are into Zombies content or anything Call of Duty, please do consider dropping the video a like and subscribing to the channel. Man, we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers and we are right there. So starting off as of lately, the one thing that I have noticed is that I think that the drop rate in the mega abominations and dropping crystals and stuff has been raised. I think that Treyarch or somebody has been kind of listening to us because as of lately, I kind of find it rare that these things don't end up dropping me either crystals or ether tools. Like you can see in this match right here, both of my HVTs both dropped me refined crystals and this one not only dropped me a refined crystal, but it just dropped me a regular one as well. And then this mega abomination here not only did he drop me a flawless crystal but he also dropped me a legendary ether tool so if you guys aren't scared to come into the red tier zone and if you spend a lot of time in here i would advise you guys to start farming up these mega abominations because as of lately they've been dropping me a lot of good stuff especially those high tier crystals so let's quickly run over some of the ways that you guys can kill these things very easily starting off with the very first way is going to be luring them over to those turrets if you have a turret mod just go ahead and place it inside of the turret and lure your hv or just the regular mega abomination over to it and these turrets will take care of them in seconds next is going to be the juggernaut if you do have a juggernaut uh don't be scared to use these things and also you might have some zombies that are going to be whacking at you but be sure to use your time wisely and use it on the mega abomination i've heard of some people that have been running out of time with these things and i think it's because they're shooting the zombies that are around them and not just aiming at the mega abomination next is going to be using either a meta weapon like the lockwood or the akimbo tier snake shots just be sure to shoot this thing directly in the mouth when he's trying to shoot his beams at you and you'll take his heads off easily i'm gonna put up a map on the screen right now so you guys know where all of these things keep on spawning so you can go through the map and continuously farm these things big shout out to mwzhub.gg they're the ones that put together all of these really awesome interactive maps for modern warfare zombies and for warzone if you guys are into any of those modes and you want to check them out for either easter eggs or any of these hidden caches or anything else that you want to know about the modes i'm gonna have a link down in the description if you guys want to go check out their website another thing I've noticed lately is a higher spawning rate of these crystals inside of the dark ether so if you guys can come in here those sigils are really easily farmed out of the uh, tier 3 contracts and bringing in wonder weapons like either the scorcher or the wonder waff make doing these contracts incredibly easy especially like the scorcher because you can just fly around to each contract and easily get those done wonder waff really helps you out for the holdout mission the scorcher is what definitely helps you out for those ether extractor missions and the vr11 is what's going to help you out for the escort mission it's kind of cool it's like they tied the wonder weapons to each one of the contracts. I do have a clip, hopefully I can find it, where I pulled three refined crystals out of one contract. If I can find that, I will definitely throw it up on the screen here. So yeah, if you guys can come into the dark ether and you need to farm up some of those uh, ether crystals, I'd say coming in here is another great way to get those. Now, unfortunately, this game is completely RNG, so we can get these things from honestly doing anything. Like, I know there's probably going to be people in the comments saying, yeah, well, I've gotten a refined crystal or a flawless crystal just from checking a tier one crater from doing a tier one contract now why yes this is always possible but it's like you're getting a drop rate of one percent like there's only a one percent chance of that happening where you getting these inside of doing these is more of a possibility of like five or ten percent chance so yeah you're kind of weighing your odds better of doing stuff like this but i honestly completely get it man it is just an rng game mode and sometimes luck just isn't on our side we can grind the most high tier stuff and never get any good loot at all and sometimes people that are in tier one can have the best luck ever and end up pulling the best loot ever it's just crazy but with that i think i'm gonna wrap up the video i appreciate everybody that stopped by today if you guys enjoyed it or if you learned something please do consider dropping that like and subscribing to the channel i greatly appreciate all the support that you guys have been showing me lately i mean it's just been blowing my mind you guys are absolutely insane thank you thank you i should have a new video going up on the new smg here shortly as well so keep an eye out for that you guys enjoy the rest of your day and i will catch you in the next one.